Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio, with another one. And if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to do so now. But let's get into it. We have an article from The Sun, UK. From Dillian, from Dillian White, who states, I would jump in and have some. I would take that fight with Joshua at the drop of a hat. If they want it, they can have it. Okay, so Dillian White has come out and insists he will jump at the chance to fight rival Anthony Joshua if Miller is pulled out after having failed his drug test. There are concerns AJ's scheduled world title defense against Jarrell Miller could be scrapped after the American failed a VADA drug test. The article goes on to say, Dillian White has said he will jump at the chance to face Anthony Joshua again if Jarrell Big Belly Juicy G-String Miller is pulled out. AJ's heavyweight world title fight against Miller is in threat, is in doubt, after the American has tested positive for banned substances, or a banned substance, so we know what it is, we know what it is, it is GW1516, toxic, fat burning, endurance enhancing, made lab rats run twice as fast. Miller, 30, failed the doping test for banned muscle growth substance GW1516. And there are serious doubts that the New York Commission will ban him from fighting. But where's, what, 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 where's the doubt? It should be obvious. Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn insists his man is still preparing to defend his titles on June the 1st, Madison Square Garden. An old Faux White was stopped by Joshua in December 2015 in the seventh round and fancies another crack at the champ. Speaking to Jim White on Talk Sport, the body snatcher said I would jump in and have some. Have it. Have it, lad. I would take the fight with Joshua at the drop of a hat. I would fight him on seven weekdays. I would fight him seven days a week. Hold up there, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, pause, pause. Didn't Dillian White say say that he needed a full 12 week training camp? Dillian's my boy, but still, he's changed his tune a little bit, but I understand why. I understand why. He, where is he? I should have brought a picture up of him, I haven't got one. But anyway, let's look at, uh, who can we look at instead? Yeah, let's look at Juicy. All right, let's look at Juicy. Yeah, so Dillian White had said previously that uh, he would want a full 12-week training camp to fight Joshua. Full 12 weeks. No ifs, no buts, no maybes, no days off, no nothing. Full 12 weeks. 12 weeks, three months. Yeah? That's what he wanted before. But now he's saying he will fight him on seven days notice. Is that what he said? Something like that. So I understand why. He just turned down an offer. And now he's having doubts. When is the next opportunity going to come? And I understand that. I probably feel the damn same way. So now he's changed his tune. Doesn't need 12 weeks anymore. He was already in training for his upcoming fight. But uh, against an unknown, unnamed, undecided fighter. So he was already in training camp. I think he's been in training camp for something like at least two weeks. So what does that leave? Seven weeks to the fight. The last week is kind of cooling down, recharging the batteries. So he's got two weeks plus six, not including the, 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 the cool down week. So he's got eight weeks training. Eight weeks and then the normal cool down week. So it's got nine weeks out of 12. So that leaves him nine, ten, that three weeks short. That's not too bad. It's almost a full training camp. 
not quite, but almost a full training camp. So Dillian White will go into this if he's chosen, and I think he may be chosen. Dillian White goes into this as as the yeah, as he's got to be a favourite now. Eddie Hearn will have already had a stand-up guy, a backup guy, but if the if the uh, Dillian White is the superior name, which I suspect he may be, then he might get it. He might get it. He says Joshua can get it, but Dillian might get it. Dillian might get the spot, might get the shot. How would you feel about that? Would you be excited about Dillian stepping in? I think I would be. I would have preferred it to be in the UK, so I could have been there. I don't think I'm traveling to New York. I got things to do at home. I don't know. I don't know. How do you feel about it? Looks like it's going to be Dill. Well, Dillian's name is now in the hat. We had ruled him out, but his name is in the hat. Okay. Well, what else we got to say? What do we have to say? Jarrell still training. I don't know all the ins and outs of Miller's doping results. So until the full report is produced, we don't know if it's something is something simple or something major. We'll wait and see. I can whip myself into shape for the right opportunity. I can just push for a few weeks and get sparring. When opportunities like this present themselves, you've got to take them, says Dillian White. Speaking to Jim White on Talk Sport. Miller's promotional team issued a short statement saying Miller will continue to train for the fight with Joshua as they will look into the recent failed test. We are in the process of obtaining further information about Vada's findings and we will have more to say soon or soon on this developing situation. In the meantime, Jarrell continues to train for his June the 1st fight against Anthony Joshua. The drug Miller tested positive for is one of the most popular performance enhancing drugs, which is used primarily to get rid of fat, says the article. They don't mention its amazing cardiovascular properties. Makes lab, lab rats run twice as fast. It makes lab rats run twice as fast. Okay. There you have it. It's Raphael Dawkins. It's Combat Radio. Like. Subscribe if you have not already done so. Comment. And feel free to share. And I'm out. Big Juicy. Big juicy G-string Miller. Mm, mm, mm.